It's really starting to be bad weather, but we're trying to go to the upper falls in Provo Canyon. So it's just Kai and I, and you can hear that wind, and we've got some nasty clouds building up behind us. The waterfall we're going to is called Upper Falls, and it's just a couple of miles up above uh, the world famous Bridalville Falls right off Provo Canyon. Uh, but not very many people go to it because everybody just goes to Bridal Falls. Okay, we finally found the trail. That place we started the video on wasn't it. And we ended up finding, I hope this is the trail, it's completely unmarked. And, uh, you know, it just all of a sudden turns off of kind of a little paved trail. But it didn't look like a, it didn't look like a trail at all until we started going up it a little ways. Okay, this is turning into another Wednesday workout. Really steep, rugged trail here. Okay, sounds like we're getting close here. I'll try to hike and hold this camera steady at the same time. We'll see how it goes. There it is. The upper falls of Provo Canyon. That's pretty cool. Kind of a nice, quiet little place. Nobody's up here. Very cool. I think I got some water on my lens. Okay, we're gonna try cooking some steak on a couple of nanos. And we're gonna use two different kinds of charcoal. We've got some lump charcoal, that's the natural stuff, and then we've got charcoal briquettes. But we just kind of want to try to get an idea of which uh, puts out more heat, which lights easier, you know, kind of all those kind of questions. So I'm going to be breaking in a new Nano, and then I've got my trusty old Tester Nano that I have the titanium fire grade in, that I've been uh, testing it out to make sure that it's going to hold up to the heat. But uh, I'm sure it's going to be fine. So far it's been great and I've burned in it quite a bit. So I think we're all good. Kai is making his first feather sticks. And just try to make them as thin as you can. And then once you have a kind of a bunch of them, then try to split them off. There you go. That'll work. Oops. We had to relocate because of the wind. We found this little rock that we could kind of tuck in behind and uh, see if we can't get these two samplings of charcoal going and see what happens. It's still pretty windy here, but we'll do our best. I'm going to do the lump charcoal. This is natural hardwood oak, I think is what it is, charcoal. So I'm going to put that in this one, and I'm going to try to pile it up as high as I can, you know, because I had to put wood in the Nano, so I'm going to just try to stack it up here and hope that I can get it to start fairly well, and hopefully we'll have enough going to cook our steaks. Then I'll put the... Uh, unnatural charcoal <laughs> or the charcoal briquettes which are actually made of uh, wood um, sawdust and coal dust compressed into these forms or into these briquettes So as they burn down, I might add some more little pieces of charcoal into them, but I'm going to go ahead and just light them through these side holes. We'll light these at the same time, so it'll give us a good representation of 
how fast the charcoal gets started. So those are going. We'll come back to you when we know a little bit more about this little uh, experiment we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna cut this piece of filet. Got this nice piece of beef here. And I'm gonna cut it into kind of thinner steaks that we can cook on the nano. And hopefully, we'll get enough heat from these charcoal briquettes and this natural charcoal that we can cook these up pretty good. I think I'm going to do it into three pieces because I don't want these to be super thick. And these aren't going to be exactly the same. So we're just going to have to kind of judge this test, you know, with our own uh, kind of judgment as far as which seems to work better between the charcoal briquettes and the lump charcoal. But I think we'll be able to figure that out. Okay, we'll come back to you once this charcoal's going and we can get started cooking. Okay, so we've had to add just some little twigs and sticks to kind of get these going a little bit better. But the heat coming out of the natural charcoal, there's a lot more heat coming out of the natural charcoal than what there is out of the uh, charcoal briquettes. So this is actually going well enough. I think we can start cooking. Or at least there's enough heat. I'm just trying to get the charcoal kind of smashed down a little lower so we can put our steak on top here. These pieces on top aren't really going that well, um, but I think they'll be okay. I'm just gonna try to rotate my pot stand arms in with this stick here. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick a steak on that one. Okay, these end up being pretty small steaks. Let's see if I can get them to they're almost a little too small. I wish they were just a little bit bigger. I think they'll work out okay. We'll see if I can get the charcoal briquette stove to settle in a little deeper and I can fit the, put a steak on that too. So I guess we could do kind of three tests, kind of which one gets started faster and produces more heat. And then which one we think the food tastes better on because that's important. And, uh, and then which one lasts longer, produces heat for the longest amount of time. There we go, steak number two. We didn't bring any utensils, so we're just gonna do this uh, savage style. Maybe I'll sharpen up some sticks. Okay, let's turn this one over and see what we got. Oh yeah, that's looking beautiful. Whew, that's hot. A lot of heat coming off of this one. That's looking pretty good. We'll have to get those edges a little better. This one hasn't been going as long. I doubt if it's ready. Well, I could probably turn it. Those are actually looking pretty yummy. I think this one's almost ready. It's not very thick. This one's probably pretty dang close too. I mean, it feels done. I think we could start eating that one and it'd be about right. It looks pretty good. Okay, let's cut this open and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's actually, that's about right. Kind of a medium, not too bad. Filet mignon in the mountains. Mm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Try some of this. Mm. Yeah, that's what beef is supposed to taste like right there. 
Is that good or what? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's like restaurant good. Yeah. Okay, this is the one that we cooked over the charcoal briquettes, not the natural charcoal. So, the natural charcoal tasted delicious. Well, let's see if it makes a difference on flavor. Here, why don't you take a piece? Try it. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. Wow, that's delicious too. Yeah. Can you a little tell more the rare. It's a little more rare. It's a little so. more juicy, huh? Yeah. But I can't really taste the difference on the charcoal. Yeah, the flavor's pretty much the same. Yeah, that's dang good though. Yep. All right. Okay, I think this one's done as well. It feels like it's probably about medium rare. So we'll get it up here and have another tasting. Pretty hot. Yeah, it's still about a medium. This one side may have gotten cooked a little more than the other. Ooh, it's hot. That's definitely a medium, but mm, still nice and juicy. It's very good. Delicious. Okay, so the lump charcoal, it, it really seems to be about the same, quite honestly, because the lump charcoal got going a little bit faster and a little bit better earlier. So it's burned down further than the charcoal briquettes now. But as far as the heat output now, it's really hard to tell the difference, you know. And, and as far as uh, cooking the steak, they seem to be really close to the same. Kai seems to think that the briquettes are a little hotter. I think, I think the lump's a little harder. So we, we had a, a little difference of opinion there. So it's really close. Hard to know. But I like the idea of cooking over natural charcoal a lot better than cooking over coal. Um, I don't know what kind of toxins come out of that coal dust, but uh, I feel pretty comfortable cooking over uh, natural um, oak charcoal. But anyway, that's our experiment. Okay, so we're on our way down. Those steaks sure were good. Oh man, tell you what. Sorry you couldn't have had some of that. That was delicious. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Wednesday when we do it all again. Take care. Bye-bye.